we have here the case of Paraidai versus Shogun Shipping Company Incorporated, a case illustrating the application of the control test. Pedrito alleged that he was employed sometime in October 1996 as a fitter or welder by Ocean View, a corporation engaged in the business of shipbuilding. As a fitter or welder, Pedrito assembled, welded, fitted, installed, and repaired certain barge components. Pedrito presented a copy of his Ocean View company identification card, certificate of employment dated 5 February 2001, and timekeeper report. Pedrito stated that sometime in 2003, Ocean View changed its corporate name to Shogun, maintained the same line of business, and retained in its employee Pedrito and other Ocean View employees. Pedrito further stated that sometime in May 2006, he was assigned to Lamao, Limay, Bataan to do a welding job on one of Shogun's barges. On May 11, 2006, an explosion occurred which caused Pedrito to sustain third-degree burns on certain parts of his body. Pedrito was then hospitalized from May 11 until June 6, 2006 and had received financial assistance from Shogun for the duration of his confinement. Pedrito alleged that Shogun verbally dismissed him from service effective May 1, 2008 due to lack of work, which was why he filed a complaint for illegal dismissal against Shogun. Shogun denied that it engaged Pedrito as its regular employee. In support of its claim that no employer-employee relationship existed between them, Shogun pointed out that it was only incorporated sometime in November 2002, several years after Ocean View engaged Pedrito as its fitter or welder in 1996. Furthermore, Shogun maintained that it was a separate and distinct entity from Ocean View and that no such change of corporate name occurred. Shogun alleged that at best, Pedrito was only a helper brought in by its regular employees on certain occasions when repairs were needed to be done on its barges. It stressed that it did not engage Pedrito on a regular basis as his work on the barges was merely temporary or occasional. It further stated that Pedrito was free to seek employment elsewhere at any given time. Was Pedrito an employee of Shogun? The Supreme Court declared that an employer-employee relationship existed between Pedrito and Shogun. Initially, the court did not give credence to the identification card and certification of employment presented by Pedrito for the said documents were issued by Ocean View and not by Shogun. The court also did not consider the timekeeper report presented by Pedrito because its due execution was unverifiable. Nonetheless, the court found that Shogun failed to categorically deny the following circumstances. Sometime in May 2006, it permitted Pedrito to work on repairs on one of its barges. It was also found that Shogun did not also deny that Pedrito worked for it until he was supposedly verbally dismissed from employment on May 1, 2008. Notably, Shogun even admitted that Pedrito was called in to do repairs in its barges. Pedrito was duly compensated for his work done on the barges. Shogun even categorically admitted that it provided him financial assistance when he was hospitalized from May 11 until June 6, 2006. It also did not disprove Pedrito's allegation that it continued to pay his salaries after he was discharged from the hospital on June 7, 2006. Pedrito was verbally dismissed on May 1, 2008. The court noted Shogun's allegation that Pedrito only did repair work whenever the same was available. The court viewed that it was Shogun that determined the cessation of Pedrito's services. According to the court, the rules of court, which supplements the NLRC rules of procedure, provides that allegations which are not specifically denied are deemed admitted. The court emphasized that the control test merely calls for the existence of the right to control the manner of doing the work and not the actual exercise of the right. The court added that an employer's power of control, particularly over personnel working under the employer, is deemed inferred, more so when said personnel are working at the employer's establishment. In the present case, the court found that Pedrito worked on the barges alongside regular employees of Shogun and that Shogun did not deny that he was taking orders from its engineers as to the required specifications on how the barges of Shogun ships should be repaired. For the court, it could thus logically infer that Shogun, to some degree, exercised control or had the right to control the work of Pedrito. Pedrito was an employee of Shogun.